boys and girls, our story today is about a kind of ordinary girl, regular girl in a regular town, um, just doing regular things. She studied the Hebrew scripture, scriptures just like you guys um, studied the Bibles, and she was actually very familiar with a verse that we talked about last week from the book of Isaiah. So let me read it to you one more time. This comes from Isaiah chapter 9, verse 6. For a child will be born to us, a son will be given to us, and the government will rest on his shoulders, and his name will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Eternal Father, Prince of Peace. Now she knew this scripture. She knew that it was a promise of a coming Savior. And this regular girl one day, her world was turned upside down. I'll give you a little spoiler alert. Her name is Mary. And she was engaged to a carpenter named Joseph. Now, I have a feeling a lot of you know the end of this story. But stay with me. I want to give you a little, a little background knowledge. So Mary was going around her day, and an angel appeared to her. And the Bible, the Bible actually tells us that his name was Gabriel. She had a conversation with Gabriel, and Gabriel said, Mary, don't be afraid. You are chosen. You are blessed. God has picked you for an amazing thing. And the angel continued to tell her that she was going to have a son, that she was going to name him Jesus. He was the son of God, the son of the most high God. And Mary looked at him and said, how's that possible? I am not even married. I'm not even married. And Gabriel said, the Holy Spirit will take care of that. And furthermore, your relative Elizabeth, who's basically the age of a grandmother, is six months pregnant. Now imagine Mary's head was just spinning, trying to understand all of this. But Mary knew that she could trust God and she could trust her plan, trust his plan. So she went on a trip. It took her a few days and she went to visit her relative, Elizabeth. And as she knocks on the door, she starts telling Elizabeth about the angel, Gabriel. And Elizabeth stops her and she goes, oh my goodness, as you are telling me this, the baby inside of me leapt. I am so joyous and I have so much joy. Mary, you are a blessed woman. Mary stayed with Elizabeth for a few months and the Bible actually records a song or a prayer that, um, that she gave to Jesus and she said, or she gave to God and said, Father, thank you for choosing me. I'm, I'm nobody. Um, but thank you for choosing me. All glory to you. Mary knew that her circumstance was quite unusual, but she had joy. She knew that she could trust God because God's plan was always good. So let's thank God for that today. Father, thank you for the story of Mary. Just an ordinary girl, an ordinary person just like us. And Father, you had amazing plans for her. You had good plans for her. Plans that would impact us greatly, and that would save us as well. Father, I ask that this week we would remember, no matter our circumstances, that just like Mary, we can have joy because we can trust you in your plan and that it is good. Father, we love you and we thank you for sending Jesus to save us. In Jesus' name, amen. <laughs>